Good morning, friends. Happy Monday. I look like an absolute disaster, but welcome to a week ish week reading vlog. It is Monday, obviously. Um, if I sound sick and congested, it is because I'm feeling very under the weather at the moment. Um, I think I just have like a cold. I don't know. Anyway, <laughs> welcome to a reading vlog. Um, I haven't done one of these like during the week, but I thought it'd be fun to like take you with me during the work week just to, so you can see like what my days are like. Um, and yeah, it probably won't be the full week. It'll probably be Monday to Wednesday, but I'm a few minutes before work now. So thought I would check in, let you know what books I am reading this week. Um, I honestly have been in a bit of a slump, especially when it comes to um, physical books like I just haven't been able to read anything physically really um, but currently I am <laughs> reading a lot um, because of last week's new releases so I'm actually currently reading four books mainly um, but really this week I have to focus on one in particular and that is Black Sun by Rebecca Roanhorse because our book club live show is on Saturday and I just started the book last night. That being said, it's not a very long book. The audiobook, I think, uh, at the speed I listen to it, it's about six hours. So it's not too bad. I do have the audiobook from Libro FM. It was one of their ALC picks for last month um, in October. So I do have it. I also have the ebook from the library. So I've been doing both. Um, well, when I say both, I mean I've, I've been like looking at the text while I've been listening. I haven't been able to read physically, like just physically. Um, in terms of other books I'm reading at the moment, um, Rhythm of War by Brandon Sanderson, the fourth book in the Stormlight Archive series. If you watched my October wrap up, maybe, um, I did not like Oathbringer at all. That being said, Way of Kings and Word, Words of Radiance were both five star books for me. I loved them. Um, so I decided to give Rhythm of War a chance also because of all the hype and stuff. So I wanted to jump on the hype train. So far, I am liking it more than Oathbringer. I can see it maybe being a four star. Maybe. Um, I still, I will say, I think I'm just like, I think I've just really like discovered or like really realized what my tastes are in books. And I just really don't like the kind of like moral high ground <laughs> that Brandon Sanderson tends to present in his books. Not all of his books, I will say. Like, for example, Warbreaker, I still think is a really good book. And I think, to be honest, Warbreaker is really saved by Light Song. Like, Light Song is just one of my favorite characters. He's just such an interesting character because he's like so different. And I think I also just relate to Light Song a lot. Um, but anyway, that was like a side note. But yeah, I just I think I realized that like Brandon Sanderson's brand of like morality um, and righteousness is just like not really for me. Uh, that being said, I do think Rhythm of War is uh, much better than Oathbringer. I think the world building is better done. I, I also fundamentally like so in books one and two, it takes place in the Shattered Plains. It's like in a war setting. It's like very much more like military um, whereas like in books three and four, the setting changes and I just don't like this new setting as much. And I think that's part of also why I am not enjoying the latest books in the series as much. Um, but I do like in book four, we kind of get like a women in STEM moment, which I always love. I do have that one on audio though. So that's how I've been reading it. I do really like the audiobooks. Um, the narrators are very, very good. Um, and what else am I reading? These Violent Delights by Chloe Gong, which I really, really love. Um, so far, I'm just really struggling to read physically at the moment. So I think I am just going to hold off on that until I can <laughs> enjoy it physically. Um, but if I'm if I'm in the mood, I might read like a chapter, a couple of chapters a day. It's, it is really good. It's very well written. Um, the prose is beautiful. Um, the, the history is really well done. The intrigue that she's added in terms of the fantastical elements is really good. And yeah, I really, really like it. Um, and then the fourth book I'm currently in the middle of mainly, like I'm in the middle of like six books technically according to Goodreads, but the four that I'm mainly in the middle of. Um, the fourth one is The Dragon Republic by R.F. Kuang, which is a reread for me. Um, I am about 200 pages in and I just... I want to reread it by the end of the month so that I can reread The Burning God um, before our live show next month. But 
we'll see how that goes. It's not working for me physically right now. I just, I can't, I just, I'm not, I'm struggling physically. I, I, I rarely have this problem. I actually like, um, I don't know, but I, I, I do actually have the audiobook for the Dragon Republic as well, but I just hate it. I hate Emily Lou Zeller's narration. I listened to maybe like 10 minutes of it and I absolutely despised it. And I just, I don't know why everyone loves it. I think her voice is so irritating. The voices she puts on for characters is awful. Sorry. Like, I just, I just think it's so unappealing. She puts on such over the top voices and tones for the characters that I just, it's not for me. Yeah. Anyway, um, I have talked long enough. I actually have to start work now. So I will check in with you guys a little later. Um, Hello friends! Uh, it is noon aka lunchtime. Um, I haven't actually eaten yet because I actually don't get too hungry right at noon and I also sometimes just don't have an appetite at lunch so I will just eat some like crackers and cheese or something which I will eat at the end of lunch. What I usually do is I go lie in bed because <laughs> I work from home now um, obviously with everything going on. Um, we are officially, I don't know if anyone knew, but as of today, we're officially back on like full lockdown. So um, other than like necessities, I will not be going out. <laughs> so um, yeah, I'm going to go lie down. I'm going to go listen to some audiobook for about 40 minutes or so because I have 50 minutes left of lunch. I usually leave the last 10 minutes to like just eat a snacky snack or something. Um, but yeah. Uh, I think I'm going to listen to Black Sun and actually I think I'm going to focus on Black Sun for the next couple of days just so I can actually have it read in time for this live show. Um, I have been awful for the last couple of months at reading the book in advance. Like I'm pretty sure for An Unkindness of Ghosts I finished it the morning of and <laughs> it was stressful. It was stressful. Um, so I am going to focus on that today. So I have both my speakers, which I use when I listen to my audiobook, and then I have my ebook to follow along with. Sometimes I use my lunch to like catch up on YouTube things, um, if I need to like do a little bit of filming or whatever, um, or answer comments. My upload did go up today. I schedule all my uploads because nobody has time for that. I also schedule all my like promo tweets and stuff. Um, but if I have a lot of comments, I'll respond to them. I don't have a lot of comments today, so I will just respond to all the comments like after work or something. Um, but yeah, it's time to get some reading in. Hello friends. It is 5 p.m. which means work day is over and I can relax now. I kind of need to do groceries, but I'm kind of lazy right now, so I don't think I am going to tonight. I still have some leftover, like, broccoli <laughs> um, from the other night. I ordered Chinese the other night, um, so I have leftover veg. So I might just make some rice. I have some frozen mackerel in the freezer, I think, so I might just get, like, a simple dinner out of that. So that's what I'm going to do for dinner, but I'm not going to have dinner for another, like, couple of hours, probably. Um, but what was I gonna say? So usually after work, I will probably just like either take a nap for an hour until dinner, um, or I'll read for a bit. I'm not too tired today, so I will probably continue with my audiobook for Black Sun. I'm about 20% of the way in. I'm on chapter 10. So far, I'm liking it. I don't think I'm loving it. it it's kind of a book that I feel like has gotten a lot of hype. The thing is, I really like... Shiala and um Serapio but I just really don't care for Narampa at all like I just I don't care about her storyline so far um and I don't really like her as a character uh so far <laughs> um but we'll see I'm still pretty like early on um but I'm really like I'm so intrigued by Serapio like I think he's such an interesting character I will say I really like and I, I kind of knew this going into it but I really like how they just very casually like cast aside the gender binary which is awesome we have a character who uses they them pronouns and then we also have a character that uses Zazir pronouns like x e x i r um, which is cool. Um, cause I don't feel like we see that very often, um, where we have like such a spectrum. Um, 
and it's pretty cool it's pretty cool in terms of the story itself i don't i think it's interesting i think the whole like culty thing is interesting i find cults very interesting and i actually something i'm looking for next year is more like culty fantasy and like cult fiction um but like my thing is again i don't like scary things so i feel like a lot of times when i hear people talk about like culty fiction it a lot of it's like horror and i don't want horror i just want culty fiction so if you have any recommendations for like good cult fiction that's not scary let me know in the comments down below because I actually I really want to get into it. This is like very off topic but I used to work for a woman in parliament and she told me about how her brother joined a cult and I thought it was like the most fascinating shit I've ever heard in my life. But yeah I'm gonna go read for a bit and then I will check in a little bit later. Um, I actually only have like four and a half hours left of the audiobook which is not long at all. This is a really short book for a fantasy for an epic fantasy like considering I'm listening to fucking like uh Rhythm of War right now which is like literally 57 hours like get the fuck out of here. I listen to it on like two times speed sometimes if I'm like really ambitious but actually most of the time I listen to that one on 1.8 so I've been listening to it for a while it's it's a lot I will check in later and let you know where I get to in Black Sun hello friends good morning um I didn't check in last night because I honestly didn't read much um or I guess I did I between lunch and last night I read up to the 50% mark of Black Sun I'm hoping to finish with within the next couple of days because I really want to finish it like with some time before the live show on Saturday to watch some um, own voices reviews and stuff so I am on track hopefully uh I feel like plot wise nothing major has happened yet um I have heard that it kind of comes together in the end um so I am holding out for that uh what else I got very distracted because I ended up watching all three hours of Ashley's live show um Ashley from Bookish Realm <laughs> um, and we didn't do any sprints during her live show <laughs> so um that was like most of my evening um but I'm not complaining it was a good time if you haven't checked out Ashley's channel you definitely should um she also has like the best live shows they're some of my favorite live shows to watch so go check it out what else I have a couple minutes before work oh I got a delivery notification or not a delivery no notification but like a delivery update and apparently my new camera is out for shipping so I am excited hopefully I'll be able to maybe pop some new footage in from like the new camera or whatever in this video we'll see so anyway, I gotta go to work now, so um, I will check in later. Hello friends, quick check in after work. I am actually checking in from my new camera that I just got today. So hopefully like the quality is good. Um, hi Kava. Oh, it's like tracking my face. It's really cool. It's like one of those gimbal things. So like if I move, the camera will move with me. Like, how cool is that? Um, but yeah, God bless Black Friday. I'm also like a bit of a camera junkie. It's not something I talk about very much, but I do really like um, photography. Um, yeah, this is pretty fucking cool, huh? Like, I don't know. I saw reviews that were like, the frame is like this small, but like, I'm putting my arm, if I put my arm all the way out, like, it's not bad. Anyway, so this, hopefully with this camera, I'll be able to take some better like vlog footage and stuff for you guys um and hopefully in the new year up my game when it comes to vlogs I guess in terms of reading I didn't read too much I read at uh, Black Sun at lunch still same thoughts I'm gonna try to read <laughs> I know it's ambitious but I kind of want to finish it tonight because I only have let's see I have about three hours left at 1.75 speed but when I'm reading with the book, I read at about 2.5, which means I have two hours left if I try really hard. So we're going to try really hard. Um, so yeah, I will check in a little bit later when I finish the book.
Oh, do I have to unprivate it? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Hello, it is currently 2.30 a.m. right now. I <laughs> I did finish Black Sun, but I ended up um, joining Nicole on her like live reading sprints and stuff, and then we ended up chatting for like hours after. Um, but I did end up finishing Black Sun during the sprints, um, and I ended up giving it a 3.5 star out of 5. I feel like for me, like the parts I liked, so like Serapio and Shiala's chapters, I thought were solid like 4 star. I really liked those chapters. But I just really didn't care for um, Okua and Narampa's chapters. I will say the writing style is very like addictive, so it's like a very easy book to read in that sense. But I feel like even though I love the world and I loved like how the world was so rich and there were so many different cultures within this world I really really like that but I did feel like the world building itself was actually kind of clunky and like kind of info dumpy um and I feel like in that sense Okua and Naranpa's chapters felt very info dumpy because it felt like they were just there to kind of info dump about their sector of like the religion and whatnot so I didn't love that, um, but I get again, Serapio and Shiala's relationship, their character work was really well done. I really like that. Again, I do want to look up more um, own voices reviews. So and, and see kind of like any sort of like cultural context um, and 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 parallels and whatnot. Um, I did read Rebecca Roanhorse's um, acknowledgments and I really appreciated that because she kind of explains what she was trying to do with the story, which I agree um, was one of the greatest strengths of her story in terms of that like world building and, and creating that kind of a, a story in a world that I feel like has not been seen in fantasy before. So in that sense, I actually do really recommend this book. I don't know for sure if I will pick up the second book yet. I don't know if I'm invested enough in the characters to want to pick up the second book, especially given the ending. Um, and that's all I'll say about it because I'm going to keep the spoiler free. But yeah, I don't know if I'm invested enough in what happened at the end to continue in the series. But knowing me, if it comes out and there's going to be like, and there's a lot of hype around it, I'll probably end up picking it up because I'm a sucker for the hype. But yeah, anyway, it's like, it's too late. I really should go to bed. I'm definitely not reading anymore tonight. Um, but I will check in again tomorrow morning. I think tomorrow is probably going to be the last day of this vlog. Um, and I'll let you know tomorrow what I end up reading tomorrow. Hello friends! Happy Thursday! Um, I actually, I'm so sorry, I meant to vlog yesterday but I've been feeling like quite under the weather for the last couple of days so I didn't end up filming yesterday um, any vlog footage. Um, hopefully I have enough footage for like an actual vlog. I'm definitely cutting it really close seeing as it's Thursday and I need to have this vlog up for tomorrow. So we'll see. <laughs> um, but where did I last leave off? I think I did a quick check in right after I finished Black Sun. Um, but in case I didn't, um, or in case I didn't actually like say what my actual thoughts were, I ended up giving it a 3.5 stars. My main, main gripe with the book actually is its pacing. For the first 90%, the pacing is actually really slow. There's not much plot, which I actually don't mind in theory. Um, and I actually didn't mind it. I think what really threw me off was in the last 10% of the book, so much happened that it actually felt really jarring to me in terms of the pacing. So I didn't really like that. I think I, I had this, a similar issue with An Unkindness of Ghosts where the first 85% of the book is like a really slow paced book, but then all of a sudden you're like hit with a whole bunch of shit. And I just like, I just would have liked the pacing a little more divided, a little bit just a touch, just a touch, just a touch more consistent throughout, if that makes sense. I do think the world is this book's strongest strength, greatest strength, whatever. Um, I think there's nothing quite like it. Um, it is so unique. It is so cool. I actually, I really like the world that 
uh, Rebecca Roanhorse has crafted. It's very, very cool. I really liked um, also reading her author's note at the end and like really understanding her thought process behind creating the world. I think it's really cool. Yesterday I didn't read too much. Like I said, I've been feeling a little sick. So um, I've just been kind of taking it easy. I did read a little bit of These Violent Delights. I read like 30 pages or so. Um, I'm still really loving it. I'm just under halfway at this point and it's really really good shit is like hitting the fan at this point um i i wish there was an audiobook so that i could like actually just consume it right now but unfortunately there isn't so anyway that was it for this vlog um just a quick note um i know i've been doing on average like two ish vlogs per month but i think moving forward i'm probably gonna do one out of my two uploads is probably going to be vlogs, even though I know not everyone loves them. Um, but I just really like making them. I like giving you kind of my real time thoughts about what I'm reading. Um, but do let me know if you kind of have been enjoying the vlogs or if you'd like to see a different style of vlogs. Like if you want to see, you know, a vlog for a specific book instead of um, just like a random weekend vlog or whatever. Um, I will, I do want to try a themed vlog at some point, but unfortunately I'm just such a mood reader that like, I just feel like it's not going to happen for me. Um, but I'll try, I'll try. Um, but anyway, that is it for today. If you like this video, please don't forget to give it a thumbs up and comment down below. Let me know if you read Black Sun and what you thought about it. Um, I know it's gotten a lot of hype here on booktube. I think for me, it didn't quite live up to the hype but I still really enjoyed it. Um, and if you are, if you did read it and you are interested, come hang out with us on Saturday for our live show. Um, it's going to be on Sophia's channel at 3 p.m. EST, I believe. But yeah, that is it for today. Um, if you want to see more from me, please don't forget to hit the subscribe button. I upload every Mondays and Fridays at 10 a.m. EST. And yeah, that's it. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you guys next time. Mm -hmm.